Hi guys, I wanted to talk to you today and share with you the awesomeness of If This Then That. And to give credit where it's due, I found it on an edu slam. David here was talking about If This Then That, using it for his high school students about photo blogging. And it literally just blew my mind. So I went into If This Then That, created an account, and just started playing around with it. And I'm going to show you guys today how I use it. So if this then that is a way to, um, it's an app or a website that you can use on your computer, your iPhone and your Android um, to make things do things for you. So if you take an Instagram picture, you can automatically send it somewhere else. So I'm going to show you a little bit, it's a little confusing until you sort of see. So let me just log in here. So this is uh, my account and what you do is when you sign up and you get an account, you have channels and recipes. So recipes is you put things together and you make a cake, right? You put two things together and you make something. And channels is um, a bunch of apps that can work for you. So the, this is the huge list of apps that they have. And I'm going to sort of show you what I use, but there's so many that you can do. Um, Android has some more options than, um, than iPhone does, but um, this is the way that I use it. So you can browse recipes. So if you don't really know what you're doing, you can figure out, um, you can look at this and you can try and figure out which ones you want. So if you want a text message here, of the weather report every morning, you can set that up. If you want to unmute your phone when you get home or mute your phone when you get to work, there's a recipe for that. So I'm going to show you guys which ones I do so I can sort of explain it a little bit better. So my recipes are the ones that I'm already using. And you have to connect your apps by just putting in the login information. So I had to connect my Instagram with um, the right account with the password so that it knew that I was linked in so I'm not actually just taking pictures of random people um, or it's just not going to sync right so this one I haven't started to use yet but I'm going to use next year and this is the one that David was talking about if you take a picture in Instagram and you have that ability to tag a picture so if I tag at Mrs. Boker's class then the photo will automatically go to my blog and you put the link to which one you want to go to, the direct link. So when I take a picture and I hashtag it, Mrs. Bowker's class, it will automatically just go to my blog. I don't have to do anything. I just take the picture, I hashtag it, and it goes to my blog. Um, this one I've been using a lot for my blog on Tumblr. If I pin on Pinterest, um, something in my class that I want to do, I pin it to assessment or I pin it to math, it will automatically send it to my Tumblr account. So I have that one done. So it just automatically goes to my Tumblr, Tumblr account and then I can share it with you guys. Or this one is really cool. So this one is on my phone. If I'm wandering around my school, if I take a picture in a specific area, so obviously I don't want a picture of my dinner at home or um, at a restaurant being put in with my school stuff. But if I take a picture in a chosen area, so I chose my school and I put around, there's an option of like a bubble. So if, um, if I have um, it in this area, if my phone taking a picture in the, my school or in the surrounding area of the bubble, it automatically sends it to Google Drive to a specific folder, um, you can name it whatever you want, mine's called eat, like if this then that, um, so it automatically just takes all my school pictures, any pictures of my kids that I've taken, it automatically gets sent to Drive. So this is the way that I'm using it, and a lot of people use it different ways. I'm going to hopefully next year have um, many recipes made for each kid. So. 
each student. So if I Instagram a picture and hashtag it Alan, I'm making up names, um, if I hashtag it Alan, then it will automatically go to Alan's blog. So I'm going to be doing stuff like that. If I hashtag a picture with Penelope, it will go to Penelope's blog. So it's a lot less effort um, to go back or get the kids to find the pictures and stuff like that. You can just do it. And I'm hoping that I can, I'm going to um, teach the kids about how to hashtag um, whether you do names or each kid has a number um, so that it gets sent to their blog. So I'm really excited about that. Let me know what you guys think about this. I know for me it was mind-blowing and it was so great to play around. So make sure you browse which recipes you want. There's so many and I definitely am not using it as well as I could be. I'm going to definitely play with it this summer. But let me know which recipes you're trying. Let me know what you think. And thank you again, David and Edgy Slam, for this awesome, awesome, like brain-blowing Edgy Slam.